So I have a lot of channel point rewards on my stream, but I don't necessarily want them enabled all the time. So I created a button on my stream deck that when I press it, it automatically just turns off all my channel point rewards, so my viewers can't spam them anymore. But let's just say you guys aren't spoiled YouTubers that just have stream decks laying around. I've also set up a chat command that if I type channel points on, it turns on all my channel points. Even better, I've set up my stream so that when I go to my BRB scene, it will trigger that channel point kill switch so I don't even have to remember to put in a command. This is so nice because now my viewers don't have to waste channel points on an effect that they're not even gonna see. So sit back and enjoy this video or don't. Did that work? Welcome to my holiday island. Hey, how many of you guys like streaming? Of course you do, it's literally the only content I make. Got a cool sponsor for this video, but it's one of those cool ones where you guys don't have to pay anything. In fact, you might actually make money from this. It's called Chaos Tricks, and it's a free Twitch extension that allows your viewers to interact with you by overlaying a menu on top of your stream. And your viewers can pick anything they want on that menu to interact with the actual game that you're playing while giving you money in the process. Driving your car, no you're not, you're flying your car. You guys like fireworks, too bad, you are the fireworks. <laughs> and Chaos Tricks is super easy to install. It supports games like Minecraft, GTA 5, and tons of modern titles. I actually already did a video on Chaos Tricks, you can check it out up here. But let's just say the game that you wanna play isn't supported by Chaos Tricks. Well, they recently just added a new feature that they're calling jump scares. No matter what you're doing or what game you're playing, your viewers can send you a jump scare for just 50 bits. Love these things. It keeps me hey, how's it going? Holy s***! <laughs> you twice. What? I don't know how your day's been. <laughs> Check out Chaos Tricks, the link is down below. It is totally free to use, and if you do decide to try it out, you could also join their Discord server, where you can ask any questions that you want and suggest games that they should support in the future. I don't know why I'm in an island. I could have been literally anywhere else. Okay, so there are a few ways to create a channel point kill switch, but no matter what method you use, you're going to need some sort of stream automation tool like StreamerBot or Atom. And if those words don't make any sense, I've got a couple videos up here that tell you what those things are. So have fun with those. Keep in mind that StreamerBot can only toggle channel point rewards that it created. And same thing with Atom, Atom can only control whatever channel point rewards were created inside of Atom. So if you created a channel point reward through the Twitch dashboard, then you're gonna have to recreate those channel point rewards inside of whatever stream automation tool that you're using. Again, just watch either tutorial that I've made on StreamerBot or Atom, that part will make sense after you watch those videos. So let's start with the streamer bot method. So we're gonna open up streamer bot, go over to the platforms, Twitch and channel point rewards tab. So this is gonna list all your channel point rewards that you have linked to your Twitch account. And you just wanna make sure that they all say yes under the owned column, which just means that streamer bot created the channel point reward because that's what's required to be able to toggle. You know what I mean, okay? You watched the video already. We're gonna go over to the actions tab and we're gonna create a new action that we're gonna call enable points. Then we're gonna add a sub action. So just right click, go to Twitch, rewards, and we're either going to add a configure rewards or a set group enabled state. So I'm gonna start with configure rewards. And basically under where it says not configured, you're gonna drag one by one your channel point rewards into the enabled box. So everything you want to configure, just drag into this dropdown. But if you just wanna to toggle all your channel point rewards at once, what you can do is instead use the set group enabled state. And what this will do is if you just type in the name of the channel point rewards group, it will toggle all of the rewards in that group in one go. So the group name refers to go over to platforms and channel point rewards. You see how all my channel point rewards are in a group that I've named live. So the name live is the name of the group. So if I go back to the sub actions and we'll just add that. So rewards, set group enabled state, and we just type in the name live and press okay. 
that will enable all the points that are in the group that's named live. And then we just have to do the same thing for disabling the points. So we'll add a new action called disable points. And then we'll just go back here, copy this and go back and paste it in. But we'll change it. So edit the sub action and we're gonna change the state to disable. So now we just need a way to trigger our kill switch. So we can either do that through a chat command or making a button on our stream deck. So I'll show you how to make a chat command first. So go to commands, add a new command, and we're gonna say the command will be channel points off and then set the location to be exact. So basically the message that I type into chat needs to be exact. And then the action here, we're gonna set this to be disable points, okay? And then the grants type, we're gonna make this deny all so that only I as the streamer can toggle this command and then press okay. And then same thing, we're gonna make a duplicate of this. Well, we can't, so we're just gonna add a new one. Channel points on, exact. And select channel points on. Press okay. So now if I go over to Twitch chat and I type in channel points off, enter. Look, all my channel points are gonna start to disappear. And then same thing if I go channel points on, you can see all the points start coming back. Now for those of you that are using Atom, it's actually a little bit more straightforward. So. Just like in StreamerBot, you can group all your channel point rewards and that's what we're gonna do first. So we're gonna create a new group that we call live and we're just gonna drag all of our different channel point rewards that we want to toggle into this group. Then we're gonna go over to the rules tab and we're gonna create a new rule that what do we want it to do? So we're gonna add a new action. We're gonna work with Twitch and we're going to enable a redemption group and we're gonna select the one that we just created, which we called live. We're gonna select this button that says toggle and it will make this rule act like a toggle switch and it will add this second step here. So we can just make a duplicate of this first thing here, drag that into step two, and this time instead of enable redemption group, change it to disable, select the group live, and we're just gonna call this toggle rewards. So now if we go to chat, we can see all our channel point rewards are disabled and we can just click on this test button here. You can see all the channel point rewards just come back and we can toggle it again and they all go away. And then we just add a new trigger so that we could trigger this action or this rule from Twitch chat. So add a trigger, device will be Twitch and set this to be chat message. And if we say the message, channel points toggle, we can go back to Twitch chat and type in channel points toggle, press enter, and all our points will come back. But you guys are lazy, okay? Typing in a command, pressing a button in your stream deck, that's too much work for you. Now what we wanna do is we wanna set it up so that when we change to a particular scene, like a BRB scene, it just automatically triggers that kill switch without us having to do anything at all. You guys know that I get like super rock hard when I talk about streamer bot, right? Well, believe it or not, it's actually quite a bit easier to do it in Atom. So we're gonna start with Atom first. So instead of having one rule to toggle our rewards, I'm actually gonna break this up into two separate rewards. So we'll add a new rule and I'll call this one disable rewards and we'll rename this first one to enable. We're going to add a new action Twitch and this one will be disable redemption group and we'll put in the name live again and we'll just create that. And we'll go back to the first one and we'll remove that second step that disables the rewards. We'll just remove that and change this back to normal and save that. So now we should have two separate rules one will enable our rewards and the second one will disable them. Go into the first one and we'll remove this trigger here and we'll set it up. We'll add a new trigger and we'll say OBS. Whenever we change from our BRB scene, which I don't have one. All right, I'm back. I just made a BRB scene. So whenever we change from our BRB scene, we wanna enable our channel point rewards, okay? And then save that and then go back to this disable one, add a new trigger, OBS, 
and then this one will be ch scene changed. So whenever we change to our BRB scene, we want to turn off our channel point rewards. Right now, all of my channel point rewards are on, but if I go to my BRB scene, they automatically all turn off. And if I come out of my BRB scene, they all come back on automatically. Super cool. So for those of you that use StreamerBot, I really wish I could tell you it's just as easy, but it's really not. And let me show you what I mean. So. Instead of uh, just telling you guys how to make it, I literally just made the code for you because I couldn't be bothered explaining how it all works. But if you go to my GitHub page, I've uploaded a whole bunch of commands that you can just import into StreamerBot. And we'll talk about them another time. But if you click on the top one that says channel point BRB kill switch dot NFT, NFT stands for Nutty's Fun Tools, by the way. It's pretty clever, right? Anyway, click on this one and You'll click on raw here and you'll see all of this scary stuff here. So we're gonna copy all of this and then go and click import in StreamerBot. And this top box that says import stream, just paste it into there and then click on import. And it'll import these three new actions. You'll have to edit these yourself. So the first thing you'll need to edit is this thing that says BRB scene. You'll need to right click in this, click edit sub action and you'll need to put in the name of your BRB scene into this value box. For me, it's R B R B, And make sure you get rid of the spaces at the start and the end and press okay. Then you need to go over to this thing that says disable points, right click, edit this, and put in the name of your channel point rewards group. If you haven't made a group, you can leave that empty. And uh, I've named mine live, so I'm gonna put that in there. And you need to do the same thing for the enable one. So right click here, edit, and type in live. Again, if you don't have a name for your channel point rewards group, everything that doesn't have a name will be toggled if you just leave this box empty. After doing all of that, now you have to go over to stream apps and your connection to OBS here, click on it, and this bottom box that says event up here, right click and add a new event. And basically an event is like, if anything happens in OBS, like for example, if we remove a scene or uh, change to a particular scene, then we can make stuff happen. In this case, we want to select current program scene changed. Guys, I told you this wasn't straightforward, okay? You got to follow all these steps. So just select current program scene changed. And then action, you want to select the thing that says BRB kill switch, press select, okay. And then we should be done. So right now all of my channel point rewards are on and I'm going to switch to my BRB scene and all the rewards should start turning off on their own. And when that's done, we're going to go back to our regular scenes and all the rewards should start turning on, but you can see StreamerBot is a little bit slow, so it might take a little bit of time to react. There we go. So there you go. That's how you create a channel point kill switch for Twitch. Go follow me on Twitch now. I work hard in this video and I want to get a lot of followers from this. Also, if you guys don't know, I, I'm on Patreon now. So if you guys want to give me money on Patreon, you can do so there. I've been releasing some of my own custom made widgets and uh, you know, the community has been liking them so far. Some bugs here and there, but like, yeah, they are pretty cool.